All right, welcome back. So today, I'm gonna show you what I spent all day building. So I didn't film any of this build process because I didn't know if it was gonna work out. Um, because I took the old Mojave and I took uh, the Thunder Truck chassis and I built another Mojave. So this one is a, is a backup Mojave because I am waiting on some wheels. Uh, we did get a hold of Traxxas. Uh, those wheels are on a nationwide back order. But because I ordered the same part number. So I have ordered some chrome ones. Um, and I ordered uh, another set for a Revo. That's still the same 3.8 size and diameter. That hopefully I can get the Cletus wheels repaired, put back together, all that stuff. All I'm waiting for is a wheel so that I can get another one made because I don't want to take the chance of that rim shattering in the middle of a run and causing that RC to wreck considering it's a brand new RC. And uh, now I've got a problem with the wheel. So I spent today building this and I'll show you uh, what it is. So now we'll have a backup and now I'll still need tires. Um, I'm going to build another set of Cletus wheels um, for this one. Unless somebody knows a wheel out there that'll hold. Um, we haven't ran across one yet. But I'll show you what I built. So this is, I'm sure by the title, you'll, uh, you already know what the powertrain is. But I set up a twin motor. Mojave so it's all the control arms all the Differentials all that is Mojave chassis is an infraction chassis is what it is and Then I repaired the wrecked back bumper We got the brand new front bumper that I pulled off of the other one Because it's not weighted because this one's got the weight in the center. I am running a Flow Packs Pinocchio spool in this thing with a Typhon um, drive shaft and then the stock infraction front drive shaft. So it's also running the two Mamba Monster X 8S's, um, which, if you've seen this setup before, this center bar um, basically pops out of my dual motor felony. And you just unplug the motors. So I didn't have two ESCs. So I just popped the bar out of that. And set it right into this chassis. So um, I still have to test it. But now if you guys know the Mojave. The Mojave has the motor offset. So the, so the center drive shaft is at an angle. And the front and rear drive shaft are longer than these drive shafts so that becomes a problem and you know somebody had noticed it in the last video they're like why does the rc make that horrible noise what it is is it's the drive shafts the the drive shafts from the mojave wobbling they wobble so bad they start hitting the brace and they make that funny pitch noise um it's just a common issue that happens with the uh, infractions, the limitlesses, the Mojave, and the Mojave is kind of bad because the motor's offset, reversed, and there's on, only one battery tray on it. So you got to double stack all the batteries. With the uh, uh, limitless and infraction, it has two battery trays. So this one I will be running two small 4S packs on one side and two 4S packs on the other side. And I don't have on the infraction side bumpers yet. I still got to 
either repair this. I'm probably going to just plastic weld this back together. I think is what I'll end up doing. It's just plastic welding this piece on here. And uh, that should be good enough. And then I'll, uh, I'll run these side skirts. I'll have to trim them down a little bit. Uh, because like I said, the dual battery trays. So I still have that to do. I do have to put uh, the body mount bolts in. I still got to do that. So I'm going to do that while we're going over this thing. So like I said, it's got a Pinocchio spool in the center of it. I do have the stock Mojave wheels on this. I do have a lot of stock uh, Mojave wheels, gray, yellow, and silver. So I'm probably going to go out and test this thing with uh, the Mojave tires on it for now. I don't have another wheelie bar, so I won't be running a wheelie bar on this. Hopefully the bumper will save it, and hopefully there's enough weight up front to where it's not going to wheelie like crazy off-road. But... Uh, like I said before, you know, if a single motor don't work, then, you know, we'll go dual mode. I'm going to do whatever it takes to go 100 miles an hour off-road. So, let's see if I can get these in here. I mean, it's a pretty cool build. At least I think it is. Um, anytime you can do twin motors on anything, it's pretty fun. Oh, steering might have went too far. I think uh, a dual motor build is uh, very hard on road to get them to go straight. It definitely is a lot of power. So hopefully uh, we can... Uh, Go ahead and get it done without the twin motor, but by having two setups, it's really going to, you know, progress, I think, uh, me hitting that 100 mile an hour faster, because when I go out, I can bring two cars now. Versus just one car. So we can get a lot more accomplished, at least with testing. Um, I didn't show the build because I didn't know if it was going to work. Some cutting involved with the chassis to allow the travel. And I just used the factory Mojave Springs. But I had to modify the bottom of the chassis to accept the longer travel on this suspension. So the little ears that come out um, for the, I guess, the droop screws, um, I had to modify that area to get it to, uh, to get the travel in these uh, long Mojave, Mojave control arms. So definitely the first time I've done a twin motor uh, Mojave. I have done a Limitless, the YouTube uh, uh, or Infraction, not a Limitless, but the YouTube Infraction, rest in peace that one, that one hit a telephone pole. died and then I turned it into the twin motor felony and now I've built a twin motor uh, Mojave so I do have one ESC that we pulled out of the Mojave so I did order another one today and I ordered another drop down brace so that I can you know put this 
twin ESC combo back in my felony. But I had everything else. Um, I do have a different twin motor mount setup on this thing. Um, which I've showed you guys on a bent chassis. That I'll eventually be putting into this. So. Um, we'll see how all this stuff goes. But just wanted to share with you guys that we now have. And I wish I had another voltage regulator. Um, to stick in this um, so that uh, we can run all the fans off uh, off of a regulator rather than running it off a 4S pack but it is what it is so for now it'll plug right into the balance port and operate all the fans so but not too bad I definitely, uh, definitely was a fun, fun build for me. Um, I will have to, uh, get, uh, the cage out of the yellow one and put it in here. Because I'm not going to use this, well, I can probably just use the same silver body on both cars. Um. But I'll see what I do. I'd, I'd rather have two different bodies set up in case I crash one. So I don't know if I'm going to set up this red red body for this one. I might just do that since I have two red bodies now. I'm probably just going to set up a, another red body. I do have the yellow body. So I'll probably have to build a windshield for one of these red bodies. The yellow one I had it set up for the bigger tires. I was going to give... These are the Super Baja Ray wheels, which I was trying to get onto this, but I got to get some hub extensions to run these wheels. Um, but I might try the Super Baja Ray 2.0 wheel bead wheels. They seem to be pretty strong, and they do handle 8S. So I'm going to probably get some hub extensions, run the yellow body on this, because I already cut the fender wells out to fit this tire. And since I have six of those tires... I'm going to try to run the Super ba Low C Super Baja Ray 2.0 wheels and tires on the twin motor build and see if those rubber beadlock tires will hang in there. Um, I am going to take them apart um, since they are beadlock. I'll take them apart and I'll do my own belting to the inside of these tires and I'll probably try to belt the sidewall as best I can. But there we go. Twin motor um, Mojave. So now we got two. We got the Cletus Wheel Mojave single motor XLX2. This one's got twin uh, Mama Monster X 8S's and two uh, 4050 can TP motors, uh, 2400 KVs. Um, and then the Pinocchio Spool, that kind of stuff. So let me know what you guys think about the new Mojave. Twin motor, which one's going to go 100 first? I think whatever one I can get some wheels to hold is where we're going to, you know, hit the 100 mile an hour. But like, comment, subscribe. Figure I keep you guys up to date. Um, you, If you haven't built a twin motor build before, um, watch my older videos. I do a step-by-step -step on how to do a, a twin motor into a felony or an infraction or, you know, thunder truck, whatever you want it to be. Nice thing about Arma is all their parts are interchangeable so you can interchange you know from a mojave to a limitless to an infraction to a gt to a felony you can literally do anything you want with the arma platform because all the parts interchange but there we go like comment subscribe let me know your thoughts twin motor a yes or no love to hear from you thanks for watching catch you on my next video